Hello everyone, my name is Destin Lint and welcome back to yet another episode of Enter the Gungeon. Last episode was being the very first one, I did one as the Marine. This time I think I'm going to play as the pilot. He is a very resourceful character, I would say. In more ways than one. And we will continue on. Probably should check to see if I could have bought anything with any hit... Uh, Hegemony. Credits. Hegemony? Hegemony? I, I, I don't know. I really need to look up the proper enunciation of that. I was about to say, this room wasn't so bad, but then there were more enemies. Uh, uh what? Oh. Okay, so a full clip does kill one of those guys. That's not so bad. Okay. Just hide up for a second here. And a mechanic that I forgot to mention last time being table flipping. Pretty important to your overall success in this game. can be the difference between taking damage or not taking damage, uh, as well as the whole dodge roll thing where you have an invincibility frames for the first half of the roll. That's also pretty important. Both are things that I really should have mentioned last time, but oh well. Oh god. Yeah, let's just take the world's worst damage. Flips the table, doesn't even use it. And like this Joker right here, he, he knows what he's doing. Ooh. Ooh. That could have been bad. As well as that could have been bad. I need to learn how to aim, apparently, as well. I haven't heard any more enemies pop in, so these are all still the original enemies. Yeah. It's about to say, like, holy cow. Ah. Grenade man, please. I do not need you in my life. At this present time. There you go. That that's it for the room. Okay. One of the tougher, like, first floor rooms that you can encounter. I have to say. Oh, what the what hit me there? I have no idea. Ooh, a blue chest. I will definitely open that up. And we get uh, the Pulse Can, Time of Death. This is actually one of my more favorite shotguns in the game. I should really probably understand the significance of it having only 132 ammunition. And I should also save the ammo for it uh, for the boss fight, assuming I don't get any other guns than this one. Hmm. Been a bit of a better shot there. Oh well. That's one thing I miss about playing as the Marine though, as opposed to other characters, is uh, the accuracy you have with your starting weapon with the Marine. As, like, as you can see, like there's a fair bit of variance on these shots here. Not that that's a bad thing. Because then sometimes you'll hit enemies you didn't even mean to hit. Ooh, and a half of a red heart. You shouldn't have, but actually, thank you very much for it. In our shop here. Oh, we have like another shopkeeper guy. And that speaks in a language we don't understand. Okay, potion of lead skin, poison vial, barrel, or an alien gun. Alien sidearm, my mistake. Um, oh, we can't even teleport to that room, so instead we will teleport to this one. I kind of want to see what the barrel's all about, because I have not seen that weapon as of yet. Uh, 
I think I'm still gonna go with the click and hold method of playing this. Oh, that was such bad damage. What do we have going on down here? Should be, yeah, one more guy down here. And then, uh, wait for him to pop his little face out here. Oh my god. Very annoying to hit some enemies sometimes with this gun. Oh, 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 oh. Now, do I want to get a key or get the barrel? That is a excellent question. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh my god, I was very lucky that that counted for all of them. Um, hmm. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to buy the barrel. I'm going to use the lockpick on nothing easier. 330 ammo. Nothing easier than shooting fish in a barrel. I get it. Okay. We'll go back here, and we will attempt to open this up. So we will... Ah, so instead we just have to shoot this open now. Shoot! You'll only kill a man! And literally nothing. Okay. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. We will go back over here then. I'll probably use the barrel for whatever is the... Oh man, I kept saying I would try and not skip the boss animations, but um, I still do. And I apologize for that. I'm also going to try and be better about not taking damage against the first floor bosses. Which I think I could very well do here. Oh, he says as he takes two full hearts of damage. Three! Oh my god, don't die to the first floor boss. Like I said, bosses on the first floor are no joke. Ooh, jeez. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we have to do another run. We're only seven minutes in. That's that's just embarrassing. We will uh, return to the breach. Yeah, so not my favorite character. I'll I'll say that for certain. Uh, we'll we'll try the convict. Oh, I can't believe that. That is just straight up embarrassing. And oh, you're here too. Plague pistol. Monster blood. Bug boots. Monster blood? Monster blood unlocked. Okay. I might see that sometime eventually. And probably forget what it was and how I got it. At that point in time. But for now, it's like... Seems... Half decent. Now, the Convict is also not necessarily one of my most favorite starting characters, but uh, the pistol has a relatively short reload time, and a also a pretty good rate of fire. But uh, the Sawed-Off, I, I cannot vouch for. The Sawed-Off, I am not a fan of in the slightest. Pistol also has like a very awkward amount of bullets. Only five. Well, that was an easy room. That being said, the convict is kind of like being able to. Oh, that was some bad damage. You can up. Close and dirty. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. 
Cool your jets. Just because you can get up close and dirty doesn't mean you have to. Okay. Take your time. Deal with things as you normally would. In a sound and reasonable manner, while also trying to actually hit things. still have not learned the secret of this room. Apparently there are secrets associated with that, but uh, I have yet to learn them. Okay, so, oh my god, there's like no teleporters in between any of those rooms. So I am probably just going to have to walk all the way back. That is very unfortunate. You can also push, flip tables around. I That's another thing I should have mentioned. Because that's also pretty important to mention. Oh my god, I got hit twice! Oh god. Hunt complete. Oh, it actually lets you know when you complete certain objectives. That is very good to know. Holy crap. I apologize for my poor play here. Oh god. Again, like, other than the Marine, I have quite a few difficulties with. A lot of oh, don't die before even fighting the first floor boss. Oh my god. He might play as three different characters. T-shirt can. Oh, this gun is also kind of hot garbage. Okay, we have to find our shop, and I think we have to buy HP in our shop if we survive that long. Ugh. And over here we have... There we go. Okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Wait, oh, okay, we can't go in that room, but we can finally make it to our shop, which... Oh, that's a sweet looking gun. And a very expensive, so I'm assuming it's actually pretty good too, but I I can't afford it. I'm sorry. But my life means too much to me at this point in time. I guess there is a good bit of knockback associated with uh, this gun, which isn't so bad. Oh! Shield of the main. I finally get to see what this does. Oh, it's uh, active. Uh, hmm. We'll try it. I also completely forgot about our Molotov, which is probably another reason why I have not been doing as successfully with the Convict as I probably should have. King Bullets. I will not skip the intro this time. Probably one of the laziest intros. Be perfectly honest. Okay, so I. Oh, I can probably shoot while I'm under there, too. Oh my god, stop taking all of the world's worst damage. Okay, the dodges are a little bit better this time. I kind of love just seeing all the t-shirts on him, too. That's one good thing about this gun, is being able to see all that happening. Even if the damage is god-awful. Ah, bad damage, bad damage, bad damage. Okay, close, close, close. I think we might actually kill him. Oop, get out of there. Oop, hey. Oh no, not him. I swear if I die to that freaking thing. 
then I that would be cause for alarm. I got very lucky. I clicked the wrong button there for dodge rolling. And we beat him. Holy crap, we actually beat a boss in this episode. Don't run into the fire now. That would be... That would spell certain doom. Uh... Yeah, we'll get it for that, and uh, we get the metronome. Better and better. Passive item? Passive item. Uh, Monster Blood has joined the shootout. Improves equipped gun on each sequential kill. Taking damage or changing guns will reduce the back. Okay, that is huge, 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 huge. Now, if only I had a gun that was actually good. Like, it'll make our bad guns better, but, uh, still. We could be looking a little bit prettier here. Oh, God. Where, where, okay, there you are. Mr., uh, Commencer Man. Three shots to kill one of those guys? I'm sorry, but that's just like, awful, awful. There we go. Just about there. There we go. Oh. Oh, right. Also taking hits also removes that bonus. Okay. Park this freaking thing. Oh my god, and there's other smaller guys in here too. F fark that! Okay. Bad apps. Bad episode. Bad. I, I'm so mad I cannot even speak. Um. Wait, what? Killed by your own slow reflexes. What? What? Did I like run into an enemy that time or? I don't know. Uh, bad episode. Hopefully I'll improve with the hunter next episode. If not the hunter, then we'll switch back to the marine or something like that. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to support it in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot and shows that you want to continue to watch this series. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you can always uh, subscribe to the channel to be notified whenever I upload any new content, whether it is of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always, everyone, have a good one, and I will see you next time in Enter the Gungeon.